The closure of Salter Health left over 400 pregnant patients without access to their primary care provider. I'm your Nampa Neighborhood Reporter Keith Bell, and I spoke with one OBGYN who opened up her own independent practice following that closure. My husband said it well. He says it's not like you can make pregnant women be unpregnant for a couple months while you get your act together. After that conversation, Dr. Megan Casper knew that going independent was the right move for her patients. At the time of Salter's closure, there were over 400 actively pregnant patients. Certainly was more patients than practices in the west end of the valley would be able to absorb. So either they would need to go to Boise or, you know, potentially risk not being able to get in and be seen. Despite the closure of Salter, Dr. Casper remains committed to her patients. However, she encountered a significant hurdle in obtaining their medical records efficiently. Transferring records is a challenge in the first place, let alone on the accelerated time frame left by Intermountain Health. What ended up happening with me is um, the final agreements and sign-offs happened um, within the, the last few days before Salter shut down. It's about a four to six week timeline to actually get that data transfer done. Dr. Casper opened the doors to Grace Women's Health at the beginning of April and has had to request records patient by patient. It's been a massive time suck. The practice is designed to be the vehicle to provide patient care. What this turns into, I, I don't know. I, I think that, that the important piece is that um, the point of this practice is patient care. And Dr. Casper reiterated, just like many of the other doctors that I've talked to, that the health community really stepped up to make this transition easier. From Nampa, I'm your Nampa Neighborhood Reporter Keith Burrell for Idaho News 6.